Hey guys, this is Roya, and today I'll be talking about Newton's third law, which is that um, to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. And this is in terms of force. Say you are standing on the ground. Well, your weight exerts a force on the ground. Um, there is a downward force here exerted by you. Let's make that a different color to be more clear. This is a force exerted by you on the ground. Now, the ground also exerts a force on you, and it's equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. So it's going to look like this, right straight back up at you. Uh, now, here we can see that uh, forces are vectors, because they have both a magnitude and a direction. And these two vectors, which have, both, uh, which have the same magnitude in opposite directions, are called an action-reaction pair, because they um, form the two forces between two objects and how they interact. Now I'm going to give you an interesting example that's not as intuitive. Say uh, you have two boxers fighting in a ring, and um, you know they they have their hands up, they're punching. So here here they're punching gloves or whatever. And say that one puncher, uh, one boxer succeeds in punching the other guy's face. Okay, he has a really long arm, so he can do that. Um, this force from the punch will of course go from the glove to this guy's face and go that way and that's one of the forces in the action-reaction pair however surprisingly enough there is also a force that goes from the face to the glove and that goes in the opposite direction um, and this is why there is a little bit of a rebound when you uh... when the boxer punches someone's face and you know the glove comes back a little bit uh... this is because there is an action-reaction pair here the forces are equal, though they are in opposite directions. And the reason that the movements are different for the two objects will be discussed in later videos. But what you need to know is that action-reaction pairs are equal and opposite.